Kentucky is on the verge of effectively banning gender transition procedures for children. The House passed the measure late this afternoon along a mostly party line vote. Mark Vanderhoff shows us what led up to the vote today. Despite the bill's progress, opponents were out in force here in Frankfurt, in the House chambers, packing the committee room, even having a rally here outside. Change, 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 change. LGBTQ activists say they are being targeted by several bills, but House Bill 470 is among the most concerning to them. It proposes revoking a health care provider's license if they perform gender transition services on anyone under age 18. I just wanted to come here and say that I am in strong opposition to this bill. I got a puberty blocker implant a couple months ago. 13-year-old Fisher Wells testified alongside his mother. So I'm going to ask you, because maybe someone you've loved your whole life is trans and hiding it and suffering right now, and they're suffering more because of what y'all are doing to them. The bill's sponsor, Shelby County Republican Jennifer Decker, says children's brains are not fully developed enough to make such life-altering decisions. I was just a young teenager with multiple mental health issues, including severe depression, anxiety, and ADHD. Along with that, I had been preyed upon, groomed, and sexually exploited online to the point of authorities getting involved. Luca Hines says she regrets taking testosterone and getting a double mastectomy when she was 16. I now deal with constant joint pain, rib and spine damage, heart issues, my vocal cords will ache. I watched as my muscle mass wasted away. When the bill's hearing was over, many were angry. Shame! 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 Wells seemed resigned. I'm glad that quite a few people voted no on it, um, but kind of knew it was coming. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.